All right, both Futons back. If you watch my new intro to the show, you realize I already know this movie because I did the review, switched the sound, and I'm redoing this review for you guys. So let's just go out of the box because it's already out of the box. But Boogie Nights with Mark Wahlberg. Ooh, what's he doing there? Uh-oh. 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 Anywho, Mark Wahlberg, Boogie Nights. Let's get in there, camera. There we go. Have I seen this movie? Yes, I actually love this movie. It's an almost perfect movie. I remember it being, well, no joke, two movies. A poor movie and a straight drug movie. But let me go rewatch Boogie Nights, and I'll see if it's as good as I remember. Boogie Nights! <laughs> Alright, I just got done watching Boogie Nights. What is Boogie Nights about? Well, it's about a boy. Mark Wahlberg, who has a pretty enormous sized penis. And Burt Reynolds realizes this and realizes, you know what? I need this kid in these porn movies to make this a legitimate career. With this, he gets sucked in the porn world. With what is in the porn world? Drugs, alcohol, violence, abuse, and straight up bad decisions. Who's in this movie? Burt Reynolds, Julianne Moore, Mark Wahlberg, John C. Riley, Don Cheadle, Thomas Jane, Philip Seymour Hoffman, William H. Macy, and Heather Graham, just to name a few. So what I like about this movie? Well, just right off the bat and how the movie is filmed on some scenes. You have one shot going through a disco club and is going to each character one by one. Roller Girl, Mark Wahlberg, Burt Reynolds' character, Louise Guzman's character. And it's very fun to watch because it makes you feel in the experience and great. The writing is done perfectly, the acting is pretty phenomenal, and the actual story is well written and told, and it's a quick two hours and 35 minutes. That is right. That movie is two hours and 35 minutes, and it went like this just because of the performances, just the overall scope, the interest. It keeps you interested in these characters, what these characters are going to do. It's funny, and it makes you think of the world. This is a movie not to walk your parents, though. This movie has, like I said, a nudity. It has full frontal on both sides. It has some interesting scenes where you're like, oh, I cover that face with your parents. It's like when you're a kid, it's like, boobies, uh, boobies. But the bad about the movie, there is a little bit of dragage in the middle half. So right when the 80s start, you know when it'll start, trust me, with William H. Macy, what he does. But right when the 80s start, it kind of drags a little bit, not knowing what Mark Wahlberg is going to do. Then it kind of shoots back up with the whole Thomas Jane storyline going completely bonkers off the wall. Because like I said, this is no joke, two movies. The poor part in the beginning, and then the straight character development of drugs, alcohol, abuse, and downhill spiral of multiple people in the second half. There's great storyline dynamics in this movie as well. You have like Don Cheeto wanting to get out of the industry and start his own business, just trying to get there, but knowing he has a poor background, a lot of people get him loans, and he has a crazy backstory. Then you have Philip Seymour Hoffman, which by the way, is kind of a scene stealer in this movie. I still can't say scene stealer in this movie, especially a lot of scenes where Mark Wahlberg is flipping out on Burt Reynolds, him in the background just like, and his shock face is absolutely phenomenal in this movie. But then you also have like Thomas Jane's side of the story, which is crazy. Burt Reynolds, Julianne Moore, John C. Riley slash Mark Wahlberg, because they're kind of in the same thing together. But all of these storylines are interesting and keeps you entertained through the whole movie. So like I said, good about the movie. The scope, story, writing, acting, and the overall fun of the movie. Bad about the movie, there's a little pacing issue, but even though there's a pacing issue, I don't know what I would take out of the movie because like I said, the two hours and 35 minutes is well received. Also, the score in the movie, especially with Heather Graham and Burt Reynolds doing a kind of a limo sex tape, kind of like, oh, you could have sex with the Robo girl. And there's a score, it's like ding, ding, ding. And no joke, I think it goes on for seven minutes and transfer over. It's like Don Cheeto's storyline. And just that monotone score with that scene. I think Mark Wahlberg's in it as well with his own storyline. But that score sticks out to me, actually. Even though it's a simple ding, ding, ding. It just puts you in the mood of wrong. Like, this is wrong. Whatever's happening to all these people are just wrong. And they need to stop now. And it works perfectly. So, Boogie Nights will receive. A four and a half out of five blue futons is equal to 90%. This might go in the 100%. I would think it was, but like I said, something about that middle. I don't know what I would change, but it felt like it was a little bit slow after the 80s. But it is still a phenomenal movie, and I recommend watching it. But not with your parents. Unless 
You and your parents go down like that, watch a lot of porn together. But anywho, let's see what the critics and your scores on Rotten Tomato gave this movie. All right, Boogie Nights at 93% off for the critics, 89% for the user scores. And here's a critic consensus. Grounded in strong characters, bold themes, and subtle storytelling, Boogie Nights is a groundbreaking film for both the director P.T. Anderson and star Mark Wahlberg. I'll have to completely agree. This is a fantastic movie, like I said before, in the way past 54. I think it wanted to be this movie and completely isn't this movie. But Boogie Nights is a phenomenal movie. Like I said, watch it. Please, you will love it. So I remember the first time watching it, I was like, oh my God, especially like the Thomas Jane scenes. Now it is still that good of a movie. It holds up well. I'm waiting for a Criterion Collection of this movie because Criterion Collection love doing P.T. Anderson special editions. So I'm waiting for that one. And I will do a double dip. Chase Sang the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll know what you think of this Blue Futon Utopia. You Blue Futonians, thanks for watching and have a great day. And again, thank you, thank you for the comments of what I should change with this channel. It helps. And also, I love the comments saying, I know a lot of people are doing those big blockbusters and you're kind of doing those movies that are older and already on DVD. And it's refreshing because not a lot of people do those movies. Again, thank you for the comments. But now, Boogie Nights. Let's get to it. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that non-existent six-pack. Ooh, should I show? Oh, oh no. Oh, uh, ooh, 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 camera, ooh, oh.